Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video we will talk about something I have to say I never thought one day I will speak about such a topic. Um, it's something really, um, it's hard even to believe that someone can come with such a thing. Uh, after I posted my video, the last video, and then I saw next to my video, uh, this video. Actually, this guy, his name is Dr. Uh, Ali Muhammad. I think he is from Nigeria. He have many, a lot of videos, and it's, it look like he is a, he promote for uh, uh, some kind of food. This is his business. However, his business is food and uh, supposedly health, but suddenly he became a scholar. How? I don't know. And uh, his scholarship is very clear I can I can tell this guy he is really a scholar why because he come with a new story the story is I don't know if you can read it with me here the Quran emerged before the Bible so according to this Abdul Abdul Ali Muhammad who I don't know where he got his degree from he believed that the Quran exists before the Bible you see, I'm not going to discuss really the topic because the topic itself is very stupid. And by the way, uh, Dr. Ali, I'm not calling you stupid. I'm saying your topic is stupid. And I think you get what I'm saying, right? Because all what you are saying, if this is true, it means the Quran itself is a false book. This is how foolish this story is. Why? Because the Quran say clearly that the, 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 the gospel of Jesus come first, the Injil, and then the Quran come after the Torah come before the gospel of Jesus the gospel of Jesus come after the Torah and then the Quran and you are saying no this is not right so you are saying the Quran is wrong thank you very much so he's defending the Quran proving the Quran to be wrong you see how stupid the, 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 those people they have a madness I believe you know like are you taking too much drugs or maybe the food supplement you are eating is not is not good how you come with such madness if we go to the Quran, because I don't like just talk without proofs, you know. If we go to the Quran, we will find, as an example, if we go to chapter 5, read verse 44, here is speaking about Moses and the Torah, that Allah He sent Moses with the Torah, and then after we will see, and supposedly Allah is talking, saying, and after that, and follow him, we sent in his footsteps Jesus and we gave him the gospel and then after that Jesus he said according to the Quran that the Prophet will come after me his name is Ahmad he will come what after me and that can be seen in chapter 6 61 verse number 6 and when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you to confirm what is before me, which is the Torah, bringing good tidings, a messenger will come after me. His name is Ahmad. He will come after me. So, you see, which is a, the whole story, by the way, is a fabrication anyway. But isn't it funny that a Muslim, he go against his book and then he said the Quran is, exists before the Jeep? He forgot, you know, those idiots. I'm not calling names, by the way. But they are really mad mad creatures they don't even use their brain they are possessed with something it's called Quran when the Quran is the most stupid book ever because you see the verse I'm showing you right now that verse alone proving that Islam is false why because what is the name of your prophet his name is Ahmad his name is Muhammad what his name is exactly what his name the fact this is not his name what you see here this is not a name who his name is Ahmad do you know what Ahmad mean praised one do you know what Muhammad mean praised one but is Muhammad and Ahmad is the name of their prophet no his name is Qatham so let us say for the sake of argument this verse is a true let us say this one is a true for the sake of argument And let us say that Jesus is saying that 
which is not Jesus. Even the Quran here says the Isa. Who is the Isa? We have no idea. Where Muhammad get this name? He cannot even quote the name correctly. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى إِبْنُ مَرْيَمِ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنِي يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّوْرَاةِ وَوَشِّرُ بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِهِ اسْمُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٌ اسمه what his name his name is أحمد but this is not the name of the prophet of Islam his name is قثم you know what let us say there is a book exist saying that there is a name there is a guy he is going to come after me his name is George but my George is not my name. Oh, so I will change my name and make it George. And that will make it me. <laughs> this is not even the name of your prophet. Your prophet simply, when he called himself Ahmad, which means the praised one, or Muhammad, which is the praised one too, both have the same meaning. He is just playing to be God. Because only one should be praised, that is God. So even the name of your prophet is a blasphemy and shirk against God. And the Muslims, they say we believe in one God. But the fact, their prophet name itself is a blasphemy against God. And yet you will see Abdul saying that the Quran emerged before the Bible. You see the madness? He forgot that the Quran says that the Bible is the word of Allah anyway. He forgot the idiot that the Muslim they say that the Bible today is the Bible of Allah but it's changed they forgot that the Quran says that Allah he sent the Torah first and then he said the gospel of Jesus first second and then he, he, he sent the Quran this is why I'm saying I never thought I will meet idiot go that far with his imagination you know I understand that your prophet he used to imagine himself having sex but he never did as the hadith said as we see in Sahih al-Bukhari the prophet he imagined himself he has he had sex he had sexual relationship with his wives but he never did is that what you are facing Muslims you imagine things never happened if you ask Muslims why the Prophet he is imagining such a thing why he imagined that he there's many hadith actually speaking about he is imagining that he done things but he never did not only sex everything in life he imagined he did but he never did which means he think he really did but in fact he did not do it including having sexual relationship with his wives now is that is that described you know a mental issue absolutely because how you can reach the point you do not know really if you had sex with your wives or not and not actually not only this he think he did which means he is sure he did but the fact he did not that is madness this guy is suffering from a mental issue his chemical balance is not okay And he claim, or the Muslim claim, magic. But they forgot that magic not exist. Magic does not exist. It's a, it's a lie. You know, a Muslim, he will say to you, isn't it uh, the, the pharaohs, the priests, they said the magic of Moses win against our magic? This, this is what they said. The Bible doesn't believe in magic, doesn't teach that. They are people of magic. So they consider the miracle Moses did is a magic for them but it's not it's a miracle of God here we see Muhammad he imagined himself having or he done things but the fact he never did and they claim that the, a guy his name Lubayd ibn al-Asam as we did the hadith here he's a Jewish guy he took some hair from the Prophet body we don't know which which part of his body I hope nothing bad and then uh, he made magic over the Prophet now you must be mad to believe in such a story but the important for me is that Muhammad cannot be trusted why I'm showing you just different hadith uh, many of them the, the the books of Islam is full of them the Prophet was under the black magic and he started imagining that he had done things that he had not really done 
Do you see it? Okay, you know what? We will talk. We will take this under consideration. The prophet he imagined he done things, which mean he see things does not exist. When you say he done, it's mean not only it's it's something physical. He think he think he did something physical. Not only he see he imagined things, even if it's physical, that he did. Now, how we can trust Muhammad that he saw an angel in the cave and he squeezed him? The Muslim they say Muhammad he suffered for a short time of six months at least with this the fact how you know how you know the illness starts since when actually the hadith says that Muhammad first time he faint totally or the first time is reported that he faint when he was uh, you know a kid like nine years old And that when they claim that uh, angels, they came, they chuck his chest, they cut his chest, and they make a surgery, and they put a dish of wisdom, etc. So, uh, how we can trust Muhammad that he is a prophet of God who is seeing angels, not hearing voices of his imagination? How we can trust Muhammad that he is not the same as this guy we see in the video, the one who gave the Quran emerged before the Bible? How we can trust anything in the Quran from someone according to this if I give a judge in any court a report saying this guy he imagined things or happened before him before let us say in your profile in your file you have a paper says that in certain time you suffer from imagination and hearing voices etc they will kick you out from the army they will kick you out from the police and you will not be accepted to be a witness in any court of law go and ask any lawyer as you see one of my degrees is law so you cannot be accepted to be a witness in a normal court so how people they can trust you to be a prophet of God How we can trust he saw an angel? How we can trust that he hear an angel not hearing voices of his own? How we can trust that everything he come with is not nothing but imagination? What about Muhammad going to the seven heaven? Is that one of the imagination? Because if this guy, he imagined himself having sex, physical, physical, this is sex. You know, sex is something physical. It's not really, uh, uh, you know. And not only six, this is goes for everything. The prophet, he imagined he done things, the fact he did not really do. So what the report here is saying to us, the, the prophet of Islam is really suffering from a mental issue. Muslim, they want to call it a black magic. You can call it whatever you want because magic does not exist. There is nothing that's called magic. If you believe in magic, you have a mental issue. Here we go, Muslims control me by magic. But the Muslim have to believe it. Do you know why? Because the Quran said the following. According to the Quran, Allah He sent down two angels. One his name is Harut and one his name is Marut. Actually, I'm going to speak about those stories in my coming book about the Legion of Islam. Already I spoke about many of them in my second book, which is Quran and Science uh, in Depth showing you how much Muhammad he is quoting from the legions of the Jews, the book of uh, Enoch, uh, 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 many sources. However, this story here alone is, a, is a, one of the most funny jokes ever you can imagine. There's two angels Allah, he sent them down, and the purpose of those angels is to teach magic, to do what? To cause fitna between the wife and the husband, which means will cause people to separate wife and husband. Allah sent angels so they can teach people that people that divorce their wife and their husband make them fight each other. What, the, what, what are you talking about? So the one who came with the black magic is Allah. He sent two angels and those angels they came in the Babylon tower. Isn't it obvious that this is a legend? Isn't it obvious that those are all the stories the Persian they speak about, the Armenian they speak about, about two angels who came from heaven and they are the one who taught magic?
follow with me with more videos christ is lord this time is a fool for the fool